Hey guys, this is Mike. Um, gonna get ready here in just a few to uh, change out the current exhaust on this M109 to the Cobra sweat pipes to a uh, Freedom Performance shorties. So I just want to kind of give uh, the visual on uh, what I'm gonna be doing here and how it's gonna sound. Now, I'll do another video clip here in a minute when my air compressor shuts off. Um, it's uh, totally empty, it's a 90 gallon tank, so it'll take a minute to fill up, but we'll come back here in a second and um, go through some sound clips and uh, get this put on and do some sound clips afterwards and see what everybody thinks. So uh, sit tight and uh, we'll be right back. All right guys, real quick. So I uh, had to open the box um, at both ends to get uh, all the stuff out. Some of the stuff was taped on the inside of the box, like the mounting bracket. So when you're checking the box, make sure you do check um, the inside fully so you don't throw anything away. Uh, for the most part, it's uh, of course two pipes. They are independent pipes for right now. Uh, the instructions, two pages of instructions, the mounting bracket to see here, and of course a bag of hardware. So um, packaged really, really well, uh, really nice. Um, in fact, so well that some of the packing material I'm gonna reuse for some of my customers. So it was really nice stuff. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get ready to take some of the stuff apart. Um, I guess I'll go through the tools and what I need to take my por uh, performance perf <laughs> Cobra sweat pipes off. Um, and then we'll get ready to go over some of the tools that I'm gonna use to put the performance freedom pipes on or freedom performance pipes on. So uh, anyway, stay tuned. All right, so before I forget, let me do a uh, sound check on the current exhaust. I know there's lots of videos out there on YouTube. Um, the downside to a lot of videos out there on YouTube is everybody's using a different camera, has a different microphone, different background noises, things like that. So all I can say is this is how it sounds with this particular setup. Uh, and I'm using my Galaxy Note 3 to actually do my recording. So again... What a lot of people don't understand is, you know, different phones, different cameras, GoPros, uh, stuff like that, um, Polaroid cubes, they use, you know, different microphones, and of course, you know, they're going to sound different. Um, some may not even be able to get the rumble itself because it just overpowers the microphone and it cuts out. But anyway, this is my setup, okay? So give me just a second here. Now, the engine is cold. All right, fully cold. I'm gonna set the phone down just a second. All right, <clears throat> gotta get it in neutral. There we go. So there you have it. I'm not going to rip it too much. Engine is cold. Don't take but a few seconds to warm up. And the fuel injection makes it a lot easier than carburetors of years ago. But you at least get an idea of the sound. There's lots of drive-bys on um, YouTube if you know you want to hear them running 80 and whatnot. But uh, for me, it's uh, 
for V twin, it's, it's more about the lope, the thump um, that I like. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get ready to take this off and we'll get the other stuff swapped over and I'll go through the tool list and we'll go from there. All right guys, welcome back. So tools to take off and pretty much put on the uh, Cobra Swept, what I use. Use a 14 millimeter half inch for um, the two bolts here and here for your brake pedal. Um, rear brake, yeah, rear brake. Three eighths with a six mil long Allen, some call them socket heads. That's gonna go uh, right in here to the exhaust bolts. And of course it's four of those. This is a swivel and another extension that I use actually to get in on this side up under here. You won't need it for the top in a uh, top here and bottom there. You won't need it for that. Half inch ratchet or 13 millimeter. Um, to take this off, Let's see if I can get a picture. See the bolt there and one there that goes to the bracket that comes with this setup that holds the, the back end of, supports the back end of the exhaust there. And that should be it. Um, don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I do, I'll, I'll make an amendment on the video. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to get process of taking this off first thing I'm gonna do is loosen these two bolts back here maybe leave one or two threads in place so that I can remove them with my hand my fingers once I get to that point I'll go through and take these two out and those two out loosen this to let it fold out of the way and um, just pull the whole thing off it is kind of heavy so just be careful and mindful of that um, one thing I do use and you guys should be using is um, anti-seize on um, your engine um, exhaust manifold bolts okay you don't want those seizing into the head um, I'm not gonna have a problem because I've had this exhaust off several times so it's not that big of a deal and I'm also not gonna have a problem because I use anti-seize um, this stuff comes in all kinds of shapes forms and fashions I've had this stuff for years I got a couple cans of it from companies I used to work with um, where did I pick this stuff up from uh, Anyway, I used to do maintenance at a textile facility years ago, and I either got it from them or um, a paper production facility that I used to work at, manufacture. Um, can't remember. But anyway, this stuff's awesome stuff. It's industrial grade. But you can use the stuff you pick up at auto parts stores, too. It's no big deal. But anyway, um, we'll get ready to take this stuff off. Um, I'll go through another video once we're done with that, and we'll keep it moving. Thanks. All right, guys, and well, there you go. Now you see it. Uh, exhaust is off. And um, like I said, these two bolts, these two bolts here went in this bracket here. They go through to the back of the exhaust. Obviously, I'm going to take this off here, which goes with the exhaust. Um, the two bolts here that are 14 millimeter. They go here and here to hold the shifter in. And then you got the two exhaust header bolts. Uh, one for each, uh, one set for each cylinder, and that's all it is to take it off. So real simple, um, real easy. Get that to focus. Here we go. So uh, anyway, um, of course that's what it looks like when it's off. Nothing spectacular. A little bit of cleaning on this clutch cover real quick, and um, get ready to put the new stuff on. So um, sit tight, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to go over something real quick that was a bit of concern in the beginning. You know, before I started this install process, I had already read the instructions online a few times. I got the instructions here. I went over them again, you know, uh, two, three times to make sure I fully understood everything. And uh, I thought I understood it, but I really didn't until I got into the install installation process. And so, you know, what it says is, um, you know, once you have uh, everything bolted up, uh, it says, note, it may be necessary to rotate the inner muffler to align to the holes to the mounting bracket. Okay. Now, it should not say it may be. It should say it will be. Okay. And so I started to take a picture of it initially, but I didn't and I should have. But once I got, you know, this mounting bracket put in place um, and I left everything loose, not, not you know, torqued down to spec, no Loctite 242 yet. 
but I had it snug. Um, I had a little bit of, you know, wiggle room. And on the first header, you know, I got that put in, uh, anti-seize on the, you know, header bolts. And uh, pretty snug, still had some wiggle room, right? But my install pipe came, like, way the hell out here. It not only was out this far, but it was also, like, way up here. And so I'm thinking, you know, I done got the wrong damn setup. So I checked my part numbers, my model numbers. I checked the instructions. Everything is correct. And so then I kind of figured out that what happens is the header, the pipe itself, is loose from the flange. And so you actually have to uh, rotate it down to get in line with this mounting bracket. And then, if you can see right here, let me get this to focus, if it will. But uh, right here, you can see it just a little bit. I know it's not focused really good. But this pipe here is slip fit onto this one. It's not welded. So this gives you the ability to rotate it this way clockwise counterclockwise however you need to make that adjustability so that you can get it to line up with this bracket and then put uh, your two bolts in each pipe uh, so that's where we're at right now almost done putting everything back together uh, loctite should be cured i don't use that bullshit i use real loctite um there's a lot of off brands out there but uh use this stuff love it and so anyway um, just wanted to make a note of that real quick, uh, as it may, you know, kind of screw up some other people in the future. Um, it certainly had my brain twisted for a minute. But, um, so that's what it is. Um, again, almost done. So, uh, we'll do a sound check here in a moment, get it, uh, finished, put back together. And, uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, welcome back. So, uh, finally got all this stuff wrapped up. Uh, put it back together, Loctite on everything, Loctite 242, blue Loctite, in case you guys are wondering. And I uh, hadn't fired it up yet. Uh, of course, everything's, you know, cold. Um, I like the way it looks. I like the way it cleans up the rear wheel. Um, of course, I'm either have to get a chrome swing arm or get a chrome cover. I don't like that, but it is what it is. It's a shorter exhaust. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, let's see what it sounds like, right? So, you heard the first one, and in, in case you didn't, well, you had to, because you had to go through the whole video, right? So anyway, I'm not going to back it up. Let's us, uh, crank it up, and uh, give me a second. This takes two hands here. So yeah, there you go. It's uh, it's definitely louder, definitely louder. Um, I gotta go through the Power Commander Five and remap everything. I hadn't done that yet, of course, but I um, hadn't seen any problems in those, you know, 30 seconds. But uh, hadn't ridden it yet either, so we'll see. Uh, I am going to be. I gotta do my intakes. Uh, I've got just the you know eBay spiked intakes. I got to put those on. Crash bars. Got to put those on. I got uh, some lights. that's got to go on the crash bars. And uh, but once I get the intakes on, then I'm actually going to get it custom tuned um, with the Power Commander Five. So I was going to go with just a flash ECU. Uh, I could get that done for about a hundred bucks. But um, doing a custom tune 
uh, for the power command of files is going to run me about 250 so I just decided to go ahead and do that and that way I would know exactly what I've got it's mapped for each gear and um, I know the air fuel ratio is going to be right so anyway um, I like it I do I do so anyway stay tuned and we'll have some more videos to come